Now we're going to look at prediction errors. If you look at the scatter plot, the line is pretty good at going through sort of the quote unquote center of the, the dots or the general trend. But some of these dots are above the line, some of these dots are below the line. And that actually tells you a lot of information. For example, this house is quite a bit under the line. So it's a fairly large house at 2210 square feet, at least relative to our data. But the selling price was only 255,803. Now I calculated the correlation coefficient, which you might remember is this C-O-R-R-E-L command, and then just select one variable, comma, select the other. And it's only 0 0.471. The correlation is really being dragged down by this house. I looked into it. I don't know if I can call it an outlier. There's nothing really weird about it, so I'm leaving it in. But if you're looking at buying a house, you might want to look for houses that are cheaper than they are predicted to be. If you want a big house for a low price, then you want a house that's below this line. This is obviously the best deal because it's the most below the line. The um, actual price was 255,803, and the predicted price would be the point directly above it on the line, which is something over 500,000. So this house is kind of an incredible deal. Of course, you might wonder why that is and have to look a little closer at it. Um, maybe all 2,200 square feet are stacked vertically. It's got a weird layout or something. So, but we can go ahead and calculate the predicted price using the equation. And doing that, we can calculate what we call a residual. So just an overview of that. The residuals are the prediction errors, the difference between the actual selling price and the predicted selling price. And if you noticed on Zillow, Zillow listed an actual selling price and a Zestimate or a Z estimate, which is what their prediction is. They're using much more complicated prediction models that we'll talk about barely in the next video because we don't actually know what theirs are, but we'll talk about it a little bit. But the residual can be calculated using the mnemonic ROMP. I came up with that, so TM, copyright, whatever, I don't care. But it's ROMP, residual equals observed minus predicted. Um, and that'll tell you how much off your predicted value was. To find the residuals, use the equation to predict the selling price for every house in the data set, then subtract the predicted from the observed slash actual price. So if we go ahead and do that, our price hat here, our predicted price, we just use the equation, so that's going to be equal to 87.934 times, and x in this equation was size in square feet, so just click on the size in square feet, and then do plus 310539. So we're basically just using this equation, but instead of x, we're doing the actual square feet. And we do that. We get something that looks like this. I'm not going to worry too much about formatting it. Um, right now, maybe center line, no decimals. And then we'll just drag that down. Um, and here, I could drag it all the way down. I'm going to skip this line, though, since I deleted that outlier. So it bugs me the formatting is different, but let's not worry about that right now. Let's just calculate the residual. So the residual equals the observed minus the predicted right here. And let's format that centered as well. I'll drag this down. Uh, copy, paste, or drag it down, whatever. Uh, let's make this a little bigger. So the residuals tell you how much off you were. This negative residual tells you that your predicted value was way higher than the actual value. So a big negative residual tells you you're way below the line. Um, below the line, negative, not a big surprise there. Whereas this house is the biggest, no, this one's the biggest, 99,195. So the actual selling price here was more than 100000 almost $100,000 over the predicted price. So if you're looking at getting a lot of house for your money, this one isn't necessarily the best bet. So the residuals tell you how much you were off for each house. So what you can do is you can calculate the mean. What's the average prediction error in, in your, your prediction model? And you get an average of zero. And that's not an accident. That will happen with everyone's data. It might be a little different because these numbers are rounded. But on average, your predictions are actually perfect, which is great. You know, but when you talk about averages for everyone that's way, way low, there's going to be some others that are way, way high. If you're running a site like Zillow, you'd like your estimates all to be very, very close. So because the mean is going to be zero, you might ask, OK, well, the mean is always zero. How spread out are they? And of course, that is a job for standard deviation. So you do equals stdev.s and select all your residuals. 
and this will tell you that you're off by, let's just copy the formatting here, copy, paste special, formulas, transpose, formatting. There we go. So your standard deviation is 89145. That means the predicted values differ, predicted selling prices differ from the actual selling prices with a standard deviation of eight nine eight thousand nine hundred forty five dollars or your typical prediction is eighty nine thousand one hundred forty five dollars off from the actual selling price and I'll put this little emoticon here because that's that's not typically good if you're trying to predict the value of a house and usually you're about eighty nine thousand dollars off your prediction model probably isn't very good but again, you think, oh, maybe a lot of that is driven by this one outlier. You could delete that and check if you want to. So for your own data, go ahead and compute the predicted price, calculate the residual, and do the mean and standard deviation of the residuals. Type the same sentences about it just with your numbers. You only need to do that for square foot versus price. You can do it for the other ones if you want to, but this is the one we're going to look at the most in class.